Okay. And we are live. I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world, but I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. And that's our job. JB, what's the name of the podcast? It's a pod named Kickback. A pod named Kickback. It's like a trial called Quest. You You say say the the whole thing. thing. Welcome back to a pod named Kickback. As JB so eloquently stated, it's like a trial called Quest. You say the whole thing. Hey. I am no breaks new. The righteous ratchet. If you throw it, I'll catch it. If you got it, I'll match it. Each and every Monday, you write back at it. I am the black savage, the magneto of my people. Right back. Right back. <laughs> Jay Lou, talk to the people. Hey, man. Jay Lou, man. Straight to the point, man. We here, man. <laughs> Jay Lou, what it do? We here. We here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm joining a homie. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's been a minute, too. So we we yeah. definitely got to get into some sports, because I know Jackie did a couple episodes, and she, we, it's been a minute. Yeah. You had a special guest last week, man. Everybody was, everybody was yeah. doing it. Ah, man, you know, you know everybody love when the ladies on, man. You got you to gotta do that. Right. Man. You got to have the ladies on. You got to have them. <laughs> them. Facts, facts, facts. Shout out to Dana, who did a real good job last week. Yeah. And, so- um, Matter of fact, let's get straight on oh, sponsors, sponsors. So you guys know we are sponsored by Moe's Marvelous Cleaning. And as I have stated, you know, like I wish I could turn the camera around and show you, but Mo been in here doing her thing. And um, if you need her to come clean your house, your apartment, your car, uh, your business, your jail record, your criminal history, your clear your cash on your computer, holla at Mo. Use code kickbackers and get 10% off. That's code kick. Kickback. <laughs> See, J. Lou ain't know I can still do it. I can still do it. <laughs> hey, man. I think, hey, man. That's the last thing to go. The voice the last thing to go, though. Voice the last. <laughs> <laughs> so you use code kickbackers at mostmarvelouscleaning.com. To get ten percent off your first cleaning and maybe negotiate some more stuff. Tell her no breaks in J. Lou sent you. Um, also, well, you know it's, it's cold outside. It's uh, uh, what, what's it called, J. Lou? Not bun season. Uh, cuffing season. There you go. Um, it's cuffing season. If you want to go get you some lingerie, ladies, you want to get you some some toys, and fellas, you want to get a little bit of extra. <laughs> For your for your boo snaps, you might have a good winner, uh, uh, Frosty the Jeezy the Snowman type winner. Then you need to go to mysexroom.net. When you get to that website, whether you get a rose, a wand, lingerie, edible oils, whatever you get, type in code Kickbackers and go ahead and get ten percent off that shit. No, 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 we don't pay full price no more. Get ten percent off at mysexroom.net. Now, I haven't said that, J. Lou. We got to get into high low. Now, high low. Who wants to go first? Who going first? I, I go first. You I know, know I'm calling. Uh, what I say? Low. You know, it's December. So there's a lot of expenses coming out of the, uh, you know, uh, Christmas, all that stuff. So I didn't, I didn't got the, I didn't got, I didn't decorate in here. My daughter got me decorating. I got stuff outside, Christmas tree. <laughs> So, uh, all of that, uh, so just uh, just expenses and stuff. You know, it is what it is. You know, it's for the kid. You know what I'm saying? For for baby girl, and then you know, people back home. So, uh, just a whole bunch of expenses at the end of the year. 
Uh, have I been doing a good job working out? You have. As a matter of fact, and I know you have. I'm going to go ahead and clap it up for you. The workout's been going. Got the, uh, you know, man, you've been working on, you know, kind of getting the, the 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 vision, you know what I'm saying, and goals for for the new year in line. So, you know what I'm saying? So that's been a good thing. So just kind of ending strong so you can begin strong. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Kind of going, uh, going that route. All right. I, I respect it. I respect it. You had me working out today. Hey. You know, that's how much you working out. You had me working out. And me, 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 me popped it off, man. I was like, look, man, we got we got guilt trip you in there. Man. <laughs> but, but male's motivation. Motivation yeah. male. <laughs> call motivation you out. Melanie. Ooh. I said, Mel, call you out and everything. You didn't see, didn't see that. I was like, damn, man. I like it. I like it. It, it got me working out, so I can't even be mad. Can't even be mad. <laughs> Um, my high of the week. Let me see. Let me think about my high low. And I actually didn't even think about it um yet. My high. My high was working out today. Fuck that. That was my high. Cause that's something I've been avoiding. Something I the L, uh, not LA Fitness, Planet Fitness was bullshitting with my shit and had me going through all these changes. And then, fuck it. I just did some workouts at home. And uh so shout out to to me, goddamn it. That's my high. Um my low of the week. Mm, did I have a, a real low? You know what? I, I had a, I took a mental health day Monday, um, which typically isn't a low because you know you, you do it to rejuvenate yourself. Yeah, but I will. I did need. I had. I, I needed to be rejuvenated. Okay. And that might be my low. Is that okay. I, I had a rough Monday? Ain't no more with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, shit. Other than that, how you doing? How you feeling? Man, everything good, man. Everything good, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be, I'm, I'm being more positive. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So I've been everything, everything working in the right direction, the way it's supposed to be. And that's real as shit. Cause I didn't text you a couple times and be like, man, what you think about this? This, this, this. this? You're like, well, at least it's not this, 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 or or, or that's a better step in the right direction. I'm like, damn, this nigga positive as shit right now. <laughs> You know, you know what I'm saying? Trying to be because I'm so pessimistic. I, I know that's like a uh, that's an area of opportunity for myself. So I'm I, I'm trying to be, you know, what I'm saying more, you know, what I'm saying, you know, because yeah. you know, sometimes what you speak out, you know, what I'm saying, you 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 bring to you. So trying to speak positivity. So you know, that's what that's what happened. Yeah, what up, Mo? Mo, Mo just jumped in. I don't know if you heard the intro or not. Heard a shout out for Moe's Marvelous Cleaning. If you're watching on Facebook or YouTube and you see Mo Tanise Perry, that's who you need to holler at. She right there in the comments and everything. Um, hey, hey, Mo do the whole house uh, last go around. I was like, man, just do the whole jump, man. <laughs> I'm like, like, man, just stay upstairs, stay on this level. I'm like, nah, man, just go ahead and do the whole jump, man. You know what I'm saying? Got to get it right for the holidays. Exactly. She said she ain't, heard, she ain't heard it yet. Well, you'll hear it. You probably, you know, Mo chop up the, the uh, podcast and, and use it for her promo. So she'll probably take this spot too. Mo's Marvelous <laughs> Cleaning. Uh, get 10% off using code KICKBACKERS. There you go, Mo. <laughs> now let's get into our viral story of the week. My left stroke just went viral. Man. J. Lou's flag football championship partner. Jonathan Majors. Oh, man. His phone call just got, uh, text messages just got released. And he seems to confirm that he did beat his ex-girlfriend. Um, he apologizes for it. He says he's a monster. Um, he doesn't deserve to live. He wanted to kill himself. And he asked her, like, why can't you be more like Coretta Scott King or Michelle Obama? And other than the fact that she's indigenously cracker, I'm like, damn, dog, like, wildin'. You wanted her to be Coretta Scott King <laughs> and Michelle Obama? Like, come on, homie. Come on, homie. Come yeah. on. I think he was talking about, like, how to how she was to curry herself. I don't, you know, <sighs> see, I'm I'm torn. Well, I'm not torn. Like, look, you know what I'm saying? Like, like that, you know, he, he admitted to, you know what I'm saying, to doing certain stuff, so you know, whatever, uh, you know, uh, repercussions come from that, you know, you, he has to face that. Um, obviously it's not a death sentence and nothing like that, but whatever, whatever they say, 
Motherfucker, you got you got to stand on it. If it's jail time, whatever it is, I ain't you know I ain't mm -hmm. I ain't I ain't screaming free no no motherfucker that you know what I'm saying that that put their hands on somebody whatever you know the consequences are the consequences are. Um, you know, at, initially it, it seemed like it was like a kind of back and forth thing. Like you know what I'm saying, it was it was you know some toxic stuff to, uh, together. So, man, I just, it's, it's a bigger picture, man. Like if it's toxic, get away. Like whenever you know what I'm saying, whenever you know what I'm saying, like cause, you know, I've, I've I've dated women who they communicate in certain ways, um, and mm -hmm. you got to know like it's not for me. Like you know what I'm saying, this ain't the you know this ain't the the nigga type of stuff where you know what I'm saying, like no, nah, I, don't, I don't I don't do that. You know what I'm saying, we don't we don't need to raise our voices at each other. We don't need to you know be aggressive in that light. You know what I'm saying, especially you know if it ain't you know nothing up in the room. So I'm like <laughs> right. That's, that's the only time we, you know what I'm saying? That's the only time that's going there. So mm -hmm. you got to make put yourself in there. And I don't like, it's like sometimes guys, you don't want nobody to harm themselves. But some motherfuckers do that as a guilt trip. Yep. To make sure that they don't speak up. So I don't like, you know what I'm saying? That's a, that's a coward way to do it too. Like I'm going to kill myself, make, you know what I'm saying? Kind of guilt trip the person into holding back and all that stuff and, and, and you not being accountable. So, you know, that, you know, that's some coward stuff too. But like I said, you know, what, hey man, whatever, whatever comes with the, uh, you know, with what you did is what comes with it. And luck, lucky she ain't got a brother or cousins or something like, you know, yeah. my daughter or my sisters and all them have, cause you know, <laughs> You, you you might not have to do it yourself. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> One yourself. <laughs> don't, don't, don't worry about it. We, you know, what I'm saying we 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 we'll, we'll arrange it for you. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's, it's a courtesy. It's a courtesy. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you feel that way. <laughs> Man, I um, I I pretty much agree with you here because I'm looking at it like. He jumped out the window for whatever. I don't even know the full reason why. Yeah. But it happened, and you, you're going to have to accept whatever the consequences are. If that means no more Marvel, that means no more Marvel. If that means Megan Good leaves you for me because now that I'm single because I dumped Ashanti, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it just, we don't know what that's <laughs> going to be, J. Lou. We don't know. You know what I'm saying? So you got to accept it, you know, accept it as it comes, man. But, um, Jonathan Majors, uh, uh, I wish you the day that you deserve. That's all I can say. I wish you the day you deserve. And um, we're not gonna spend too much time. But this is an old story, but those text messages are new. Yeah. And um, we're gonna move right along. And it, this has nothing to do with the cowboy game coming on later. I'm not rushing. <laughs> it's the mayor. Hey, what's that? That little, you got a little Trey songs going on over there, man. <laughs> man, could, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Little, little, little Trey songs over here, yeah. Trey, hey, it's Trey Day. <laughs> <laughs> Man, uh, our what the fuck story of the week. It is not New York Day, I'll tell you that. They are going to be the first city slash state to charge a fee, a congestion fee, uh, if you drive into Manhattan to work every day. It can be up to $23 per motherfucking day. They're trying to encourage people, of course, to use the subway, to stop on pollution, to stop the congestion, congestion and the traffic. Which in New York, I think kind of makes sense, but it's still like a damn, like twenty three dollars a day. That's a hundred something dollars a week. Yeah, that's four hundred a month. That's uh, shit, almost five thousand a year. No, am I doing it right? Yeah, yeah, that's five thousand dollars a year. Yeah, to drive to work, plus gas, nigga. Plus gas. <laughs> so that's outrageous, man. It's outrageous. But based on my understanding of New York, it may be warranted. Yeah, because it's, I guess, the smog and pollution, all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. And the congestion, the uh, not being able to get around, because, you know what I'm saying? That's why they, nobody in New York really had cars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? 
So I think I'm like obviously if I was there, I would be pissed just because I'm <laughs> I feel like I'm being double taxed though. Or triple tax to be honest. I'm like, look, I feel like I'm getting taxed on tax. I'm like, look, I'm, I'm paying tax. Just I'm paying taxes for this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, I'm like, y'all not doing nothing extra. So you know what I'm saying? So I don't, you know, I would be pissed in that light. Like, like, look, hold on, hold on, y'all. You know, I, you know, in New York and in, in certain cities that probably would consider it, the taxes are going to be significantly higher anyway, just to reflect those type of things i would be disappointed and I, you know i understand their perspective but they're trying to you know steer people from doing it you know pollution matters you know uh you know so I, you know i understand all that it's just like yeah you know, I, I, i'd be a little pissed like hold up man like look what, what am i paying for <laughs> <laughs> you gotta relax yeah like i'll already charge me more if y'all was charging me like a low a low tax rate like hey it was a la cut like a spirit like spirit be doing maybe mm -hmm. Hey, look, man, y'all already charging me high. That should be good. Imagine, Jay, look, you working from home, right? And now your job wants you to come into the office. You know how everybody's bringing people back into the office? Yeah. The COVID, and you're like, dog, to go back into the office, I got to spend an extra $5,000 a year. I'm yeah. not coming back to the office. Like, I think people will be quitting jobs behind that shit. Oh, you want me to come into the office? I got to spend $5,000? i am going to tell you this. You know, I, you know I've... I worked in corporate where I had to go to the office and you know, now on this, uh, my, you know, I do corporate and my business, uh, from the house. Now a job will probably, probably have to pay me at least. I would, it would probably be starting at another 15, 20,000 more to go into an office. That's the benefit of being able to work from home. I can, to, I can, I can go pick mm -hmm. up my order, the, the convenience of being home. I can go work out, get back. You know what I'm saying? It's certain things that I can do that I wouldn't be able to do in the going to office. So that that has a monetary value to me. A job would have to pay me fifteen, twenty more, uh, twenty thousand more to consider leaving that. And it's not a and it's not a definite that I would do. And, and they gotta add another five thousand based on the fact that of the taxes of of, of the toll, yeah, the congestion no, fee. If so that give you that was included, it'd be even more because yeah, I give you your twenty and that. I'm gonna jump into another tax bracket. So I'm like, nah, y'all definitely gonna something gonna give. Yeah, I need a voucher. I don't even want you adding it to my salary. I need a voucher for that shit. I need a, a this job voucher. That's give me my gonna... extra 20 and a voucher for that shit, and I'll come into the office. That's what they're gonna do. They're gonna they're gonna uh, people gonna people gonna complain and they're gonna say, okay, we're gonna do, you know, they gonna y'all don't have to come in the office two, three days or something. We'll give you, we'll pay for one day or something like they're gonna have to do something like that. To minimize it, if not, it's like look, you know what I'm saying? Like that's 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 taken away from what you make. Just Literally, do the job. So it's like, look, I, I I build in a certain amount, my man. I'm not building in, you know, everything. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I had to turn my glasses off to see what the fuck they talking about, dog. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it, young. <laughs> I don't get it. Like the fuck, the fuck are these niggas talking about? <laughs> exactly. But uh. Here's something else that uh, people, you know, really aren't getting, and it's it's something we got to talk about. Unfortunately, so dumb. You are really dumb, for real. My fellow H.U. Howard University dropout. Uh, we both dropped out. <laughs> uh, my man, I can't even say he my man no more. That guy, Diddy. I I'm still I still don't know what to feel or how to feel, but I know that I do believe a lot of that shit to be true. So I'm not looking at Diddy in the, with the same lens no more. The, 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 these aren't rose colored glasses anymore. I don't look at him like bro and HU and hip hop and well maybe I still see him as a lot of those things, but I also see him as a fucking demon. Yeah, and um. Uh, Foils reported that uh, 18 of his business ventures have all separated themselves from him. Um, so he's losing money right now. His net worth is decreasing and the cancellation has started. And I can't defend him. Yeah. I can't stand up for him. I can't say, no, nah, no, nah, wait, wait until we wait, wait, wait. Because I'm famous for the wait until we find out everything. Yeah. And as a black man, you should always 
you know, kind of go there just because, you know, you know how we, you know, we, we get persecuted in a certain way. Um, but yeah, Diddy different to me. Like, I'm gonna be honest, you, I, I, you know, I've never liked Diddy um, as a person. Um, and I thought he was overrated as a producer, um, but I thought he was a great marketer. Um, certain things I just don't respect, um, you know, his age and how he lives at a certain age. I see, like, I see getting older as growing. Um, and I think as you grow, certain things should change in your life. I, like, I don't think you should be 50, 60 trying to live like you're 20 or 30. Um, and it's a reflection, you know, and, and I feel like that's a reflection on your life. Um, and I feel like he's been that way for a long, long time. Like how he, how he speaks, uh, you know, speaks to people in certain uh, in certain aspects is a certain level of arrogance that comes with it that I just don't respect. Um, and normally, and I, I just know how I changed when I had it. Well, I was always a good guy just because, you know, what I'm saying, you know, I got sisters and all that stuff. But normally when you have daughters, it, it, it changes you to a different level. Um and I, I, I don't, I, I've never seen uh, that that level of growth. Like I always seen with him as it, being a little bit phony, like too much. Like let me let me put this out here, put this. Yeah, out my name here. is Love now. I'm and, Love. And, and those sto those stories was always out there. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's just that you know, you, you know what I'm saying? It, 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 people didn't push it as much. It wasn't corroborated more. Uh, so you know what I'm saying? But and, and it kind of go back to you know I don't want to bundle him up with the with the majors uh situation but it's like it's weird that people at that type of level that with that type of power i don't like like you you shouldn't have to force nobody or manipulate nobody or do certain things like if you really what you say you are like you're ridiculous you're like like you shouldn't have to do that like it like a lot of what it was it was, it was saying like it was insecure um you know what I'm saying? A lot of insecurity, a lot of, you know what I'm saying? Like, 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 like real tough and standing behind other people. And it's like the way you, you, you dealt with certain people in business is the same way you dealt with certain women. It's just, um, uh, you know, like I said, I, I I've never seen, I, I didn't see him in a high, uh, in, in a good light growing up, especially with women and sisters so close to me. Uh, but now I was like, look, man, what, you know, you know, obviously I'm sure a whole bunch of people probably, it's, it's a lot of guys that do it. I'm like, yeah, they do. Um, but I ain't, I ain't defending it. So, like, look, whatever that, whatever happens, nigga, like, let the council begin. Like, look, I don't give a fuck. Like, like, like expedite that shit. So, you know what I'm saying? We can get off our timeline. Yeah, facts, <laughs> facts, facts. Do that shit at, expeditiously. Expeditiously. <laughs> when I look at it, man. I'm kind of like, damn, dog. This what she was doing? Like, but I, I've talked about it the last couple of weeks, but okay. it's still kind of just shocking. It's like, damn, nigga. You were shocked. I was. I wasn't shocked though. That that's well, what the part I think thought was with me. Like certain stuff happening, I wasn't. I wasn't shocked though. Like, certain you know, things didn't shock me, but the consistent pattern of behavior yeah. over a prolonged period of time shocked me. Okay, like like um, like like ain't nothing. Wake up and you just change. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Oh, yeah, because he kept telling us he changed. I'm brother love now. I'm Diddy now. I'm Puffy now. I'm you know he he was always quote unquote changing. So I'm like, oh this nigga changed. I'm like, no nigga, you just changed the name. You was the same piece of shit from the beginning. And That's what it is. The first rumors I heard was he was doing that type of shit to men. And I was like, I don't know if Diddy gay or not. Everybody keeps saying that, but him, you want a record deal or something? My dick, all that kind of. And, and I'm not putting this on a jacket because I wasn't there. I don't know. But those were the rumors I was hearing. He was being a piece of shit to men, niggas who wanted to produce, niggas who wanted to do songs. He was quote unquote raping them. You know what I'm oh. saying? Extorting them. You do this sex shit for me, and I'll use your beat. Shit like that. And I ain't know if it was rumors. I, I still don't know if it's rumors or not. But that's what I heard. And, I, and I'm saying allegedly. Don't sue me. I ain't got shit, Diddy. Don't don't sue me. I ain't got nothing. What you gonna say? I never heard. I heard that. I heard the you know the stuff with uh you know his uh you know some of his you know uh, the Kim Porter stuff. You know just because of the body got some people was you know talking crazy. Yeah. But this uh, is yeah I think this this is the nineties. You know I was oh. he went to Howard. I, you know I, I was a little oh, older. Okay. Yeah, so I was damn yeah, yeah. grown and I was trying to be a rapper. So I was in the you know at that entry level industry where you get a little bit of information. And you'd be like, is Diddy really doing? 
he ain't doing that. Dog, I'm telling you, when you get in this game, you watch out for Diddy. Like, niggas was telling me that shit. You know what I'm saying? So I kept hearing them like, fucking J-Lo. He ain't gay. But, I mean, and I don't know that he is, and I don't know if any of that shit is true. I'm just telling you the rumors I heard was of him, quote, unquote, sexually abusing men. So... And people say that's why Mace left and all that shit. And this is all alleged. Again, Diddy, don't sue me. I only got but five dollars. Leave me fucking alone. But I was hearing that shit. And so when I started hearing, he, he you know, he may have something to do with Kim Porter. You know, he was did this to this ex baby mama. He did this to this ex girlfriend. He did this to Cassie. I was like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. Like to me, and oh, a shit. lot, a lot of it's like anger though, because you know. I think one of my 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 worst best and worst qualities qualities is empathy. Like so, I'm seeing some of those videos, and I'm envisioning that being a sister, a cousin, a daughter. And it's like, and you know, what I'm saying it's like, look, I really, you know, what I'm saying I'm like now I'm despising you. You know, what I'm saying at, at that level. And then when he don't, when he didn't fight, like to me, certain things, you know, I, I understand the perspective, but sometimes look, it costs more to just kind of get rid of it. You know, what I'm saying. Assault cases, certain little shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You might want look. Let me look. I'm gonna pay my lawyer this much. You might as well pay this this person this much to get rid of it. It's still a net gain for you, positive wise. As a man with daughters, that's something you gotta fight for. Like 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 you you you'll go spend, you know you know millions on 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 a, a different chick you hitting. You know what I'm saying? You you know and and and, and you t and you gladly say like, like I ain't cheap about it. I paid for it. I ain't got time. You know what I'm saying? Like you you will brag and boast about it. Somebody play with your name when you got a daughter. Nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Like look, I'm I'm like nigga. Had that same energy. That's the same. You know what I'm saying? I, I take I take this. You know what I'm saying? So that's my. I'm like look. When they ask you, do you pay? Yeah, I pay. You know what I'm saying? Like he he screaming. Yeah, I pay. I make bags. This this. It, it ain't cheap with me. I don't waste time. But I'm like that's. I respect that. If that's what you know what I'm saying, the level you on. Somebody play with your name, and your daughters and your sons had that that name. Motherfucker, that, that's something to pay for. You know what I'm saying? If I'm gonna pay for bullshit, or I'm gonna pay for you know what I'm saying, pay for this. Like that's something to pay for to me. So when you don't, you see, saying take it to court. You saying fight it. Don't just settle. Yeah, when when it's when it's that. When you know what I'm saying? When when it's saying like those type of things, like uh, you know what I'm saying? Like the in, in, insinuating, you know, trafficking and uh, rape. And forcing women to do this and manipulating and, do, and you know what I'm saying to do that, yeah, like he's telling me like, look, we got you know what I'm saying, we got in a scrum and a, and, and a dude caught the you know what I'm saying, you know, he got a black eye, he trying to sue, and that it might be a, a, a net a net gain type thing. Like, look, I'm just gonna pay the job to go away, even though I don't think I'm at fault. But when you know what I'm saying, and, you know, that we go back to the wide jump. My name is my name. My name is my name. And you gotta you gotta have pride in your name, but you got. You got daughters and sons that have that name. And I'm telling you, and my, my point is this. If you can tell me how you 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 can blow money on this and blow money on that, ain't no way I'm not gonna be able to, I'm not gonna spend the money on this. That you know what I'm saying? That's how I look at it. I for them, I agree with you like 90%. There's okay. a little bit of wiggle room, but I do agree with you. And ultimately that's how I would move. Uh, what up, Burger? KDY finest one oh oh in the building. Um, the hundred, the hundred. Um, the only difference between that shit, the only because I don't have no pushback against you because what you said was right. But the only other alternative perspective that I could offer, and I'm not even trying to defend a nigga, so I don't even want to come off like that. <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not. But like. Sometimes you want shit to go away. Right. Sometimes, he, but the way he did it was still dumb. If you wanted to go away, pay her before she go public. Exactly. He, he still did it wrong. No matter yeah. how you look at it, he did it wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now, you I, do I'm, pay. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So I understand that perspective. So this is just my, you know what I'm saying? My thing is, if that's what if, if that was his argument, like look, man, I ain't do it, but it would have cost the lawyers to do this. I understand it. I I wouldn't agree with it with certain things. But yeah, I'm like, look, I'm like, you called you uh, to me. It seemed like you called her bluff. She put it out there, and you caved in 24 hours. Yeah, like, 
like like it, the quickest. And now you got other people coming out, and some of the women that was coming out was like, look, they had pictures with them and stuff like that. And you know, I always it's, it's still always, shit coming. Did that shit when they you know messing with little, messing with you know what I'm saying much younger women or not messing with children. Basically, I always looked at them as cowards and like like niggas, you know, a little bit differently. So they different because. Well, rape isn't about sex. It's about power and control. Yeah. It's not like they got so horny. Like, from what I understand of psychology, you don't get really, really horny and then rape a woman. You get really, really insecure and want to be in control of a situation. So you rape a woman so you can feel strong and manly. Um, Based on my own understanding of the situation, I, I could be, I'm not an expert, I'm not a psychologist. <laughs> what I studied told me that if, if there have been changes and I'm wrong, I apologize. This is what I studied when I studied it. I, I don't study it often. Sorry. You know, but when I was looking it up and reading about it, uh, rape wasn't about sex. It was about violence. Yeah. Rape is a violent act. Rape isn't a sexual act. So when you look in, when you're looking at these younger women, because we know Diddy with his esteem could have gotten any woman at any age. So if you're looking like R. Kelly, you're looking specifically at 16, 17, 18 year old girls. I'll never forget this situation for two reasons. One, because it shocked me, heard me how the woman responded to me, and it shocked me even more to how some of my homies responded to me. I got, to, I, I was about shit, 98, I was 22, 22, 23. I was about 22, 23. And I went to um grocery store, probably the giant out full boss. Um, <laughs> and I got this girl phone number. And we had been talking for like a day or two. She she was she was a little sexy joint. I was like, I'm all right. <laughs> we didn't get over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get them all five, six, seven of them things. Here we say Lou. Like, yeah, I'm gonna get them things. And then um just randomly she said something. I was like, Yeah, I I, I respect that. What well, what's it? Well, well, how old are you? Cause if you think that, and she was like 15, and I'm like, y'all, I'm 22. This ain't gonna work. This ain't gonna work. And she was like, I fuck you better than them bitches your age. They don't know how to do what the fuck I do. Like you lame as shit. You a bama. Like you a bama ass nigga. You don't even know how good this pussy is. Better than anything you had at your age. I'm with all the shits. Them bitches your age ain't with the shits. I'm with the shits. And I was like, thank you. And um. God bless you. Good night. Don't ever call me again. And, and no disrespect. No, I wasn't mad at her because she didn't lie to me. She told me the truth. Yeah. And I was like, I can't do it. And niggas was like, she told you she ain't suck your dick better than bitches your age? You stupid as shit. And I was like, oh, she's like almost my little sister. I, I can't. No, I, I, I don't want to do it. And I know how I felt. I know how I felt being ridiculed. Like y'all clowning me for this? I'm getting clowned. Like I'm I'm the lame nigga now because I don't want fucking little kid. And then I think about the predators that that's what they do want. Yeah. And you know maybe it is a mental illness. I don't fucking know. But I look at the ones that's doing that, and I'm like, you corny dog. And niggas will tell you like, Jayla, you know it. I love me a chick in her early thirties. I love me to take about 32, 33, 34. Yeah. I love them. And I'm 47. But I ain't, you know, but we all grown. Yeah. We, you know, they beyond college, been married, had kids, and they 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 grown. Yeah. I do like a younger woman, but I like a younger woman that's a woman. Yeah. Yeah, man. Like, like I said, man, look, look, he, hey, he, he, everything is coming his way. <laughs> He is on him. And for the record, Burger in the comments, he said, for the record, I wasn't one of them dudes who said that to you. Burger, for the record, you you've been my my tridest and truest OG. I listen to Burger to this day. To this day. <laughs> and Burger ain't never led me wrong, man. Burger, that was not you. Uh, and I, I'm, I'm just gonna give you a hint. Um I was in Fort Washington at the time. So you can already you you know who's who's on my neck about that, but def, definitely one you young, definitely one you. Burger led me to write the rest the whole time. And shout out to my four watch nigga, I still love him to death. They just had 
bad judgment on that one little situation. You know how the Merlin dudes is. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! All right, let's, let's, let's keep it moving. Yeah, we don't get in trouble. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Let's get into our Nipsey Hussle story of the week. Uh, no, Nipsey Hussle Award winner of the week. And yeah, we're going to do that. If it's sports, if it's fashion, if it's music, um, if it's hustling, whatever, you're on, a, you're on a marathon, you know? So If it's sports, if it's fashion, if it's music, it's sports. It's sports. I've heard this name before, but I don't follow baseball a lot. Um, Jay Lou, was he? He was in Atlanta Brave at first, right? No. Nah. What did he? Who did he start with? He's he's been he's been with the Angels. Okay, so he's been to Angels. He's leaving the Angels to go to the Dodgers. Yes. Shohei Otani joining the Dodgers on a ten-year, <laughs> seven hundred million dollar contract. I know that's the biggest contract in baseball. I know it dwarfs anything in the NFL or NBA. I don't know about soccer. But I'm going to jump out there and say this is the biggest sports contract in the history of sports. Am I right, J. Lou? Probably. Maybe, maybe in maybe in, I don't, maybe in, in, in Europe, some, some of the soccer teams, uh, guys, is, is, you know, Messi and uh, Ronaldo got some crazy deals. But, yeah, this, this one up there. It definitely in North America. In North American sports, is you know, is, is hands down probably number one. Man, he, he almost doubled LeBron James' total career earnings on this one 10-year stretch. And LeBron James is the highest-paid NBA player of all time. Yeah. Wow. You know what? Just, just real nigga shit. I got a question. Is he that good? Yeah. He is that good? Yeah, okay. because... He he's the he'll he he's the top hitter on your team, and and he's considered an ace from a pitching standpoint. So he's a great pitcher as well. Oh. Okay, Burger co signer like yeah, no, he, yeah, he that good. Yeah, he, <laughs> he, that's saying he can be your number one pitcher. So like basically, they're paying for two players in one. Mm. Like he like he he pitches, and he pitches well, strikeouts all in, all the numbers that you would think of the top pitcher would have. And he can get you 40, 50 home runs and hit for a, a crazy, um, a crazy percentage. So if if any if any player is worth it, it's him. Um, I don't like how the you know the the whole recruitment happened. Like he was trying to get everybody, wanted everybody to keep it quiet and all that stuff. So I ain't like that. But mm. if somebody gonna get it, it, it you know, it, it's gonna be him. <laughs> I'm surprised the Yankees ain't get him. It seems like the Yankees are the sign brenner. Legacy, they always throwing out the most money. They, I mean, they don't throw out a lot of money. I mean, Dodgers' money is ridiculous. Dodgers got a different, they got a whole new, they got a, whole, a, a completely different um, ownership broadcast deal. Oh, they got a broadcast deal that pays that team a ridiculous amount of money. So they, they, they have the ability, they have a, the ability to spend a crazy amount of money. Uh, so that's one thing. Um, and and Magic probably, part of that ownership group, right? Who Magic. I think so. Yeah, obviously on a much a much lower scale, but yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but he, uh, nah, yeah, he, 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 he legit though. <laughs> he legit, and, and the Dodgers is probably one. You know, what I'm saying it's probably three, or four teams. The Yankees did good. They made a trade for Soto, so they, uh, you know, they, they, they had a good, they had a, they had a good all season so far too. How are the Nationals looking with, with our moves? I know when an old boy left us, we won the damn what they call this on the, the pennant. The World Series. Well, oh, when Bryce World Harper, Series. yeah, yeah nah. when Bryce Harper left. We won this shit without his ass. I was like, oh shit. Yeah, we still in the rebuilding stage. We we kind of got rid of everybody, and we we in the process of, of transferring uh, ownership. So when when we get a new owner, we'll probably be a little bit different. But yeah, it's uh, the yeah, old we, boy um, from the Wizards trying by them. I heard I he was thought, trying by them. Yeah, I thought he. I thought the he, that'd be. I mean, they just need a, a legit because right now they're not spending no money. Like if you see, they not in they they you know they doing bargain basement deals because they don't you know they not spending no money because the new ownership ain't take over. Well, I can tell you what you're saying. Everything you're saying is true because Burger co-signing everything you're saying. Y'all both saying the same shit 
like in real time. So I yeah. don't know shit what's going on, but I'm listening to both of y'all. Like, oh shit, oh shit, y'all are saying the exact same fucking thing. Okay. Let me find out y'all niggas know about some baseball. Let me find out. Let me find out. <laughs> he opened it to uh, chat, Joe. Up. Uh, yeah, it, it's cool. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you whenever, whenever, whenever uh, something come up. But, um, I mean, Shohei Atane, that, that's his yeah. correct name? I believe so. Shohei or Shohei, one of them. I, I think Shohei Atane is, is how they pronounce it. So, yeah. I think. And you hit it, hit, hit it on the on the, on the note. You gotta give him his props, man. Like, hey, what the whoa, 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 okay. This is something I'm, I'm trying to pull up another another story, and that shit just got crazy. I got she got flagrant real quick, but um, definitely shout out to him. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't be mad at that. And this is not what I'm trying to pull up, but I'm gonna try it one more time to bring up this article. Um. Oh man, yeah. The the vote. You know, we we was the black CNN. Rest in peace, JB. That was JB Bay. Let's get into our political thing. But I want y'all to hear something. And J. Lou, in real time, I want you to react to it because it fucked me up when I heard it. And living in Georgia, we dealt with this a lot. And seeing that we might not be able to fight this going forward, I was like, fuck. But um, everybody, this is um about voting and voting rights in the polls and the booths and all that good shit. Oh, well, it was, let me see if I can bring it back up. Oh, okay, no, no, no. We have breaking news and a ruling that could decimate the landmark Voting Rights Act. A panel of federal appeals court judges has ruled that only the federal government, not citizens, not groups, can sue under a key part of the Voting Rights Act, which effectively guts that legislation in seven states. Joyce Vance is back with us. Uh, that word decimate comes from a uh, UCLA election law expert who was uh, Jane Tim, who wrote this story for us. Uh, talk to is it that serious it is extremely serious but the first thing we should say chris is that this will now be appealed to the supreme court of the united states although this is the law in the eighth circuit the impact is in the future because what this in essence does is it says that during a republican administration in the future where the Justice Department might not be inclined to bring challenges under Section 2, no one else could do it. So that would mean that the cases that we've seen since the 2020 census that have challenged racially motivated gerrymanders, those types of lawsuits would cease to exist since they could only be brought by DOJ and not by the private parties who routinely bring them unless the Supreme Court acts to reverse this decision. We have breaking news. So. J. Lou, like, I saw that shit and was like, wow. Like, that, that, everything that we fought for in the last election to make sure we racist Rick to make sure, damn, it's been four years. It's what's this about four years that we didn't yeah. know racist Rick. But uh, to make sure that our votes counted and we got things, you know, taken care of, um, they have the ability to say, shut the fuck up. Unless we bring it up. We don't care what happened in Georgia. We're not recounting those votes. We're not looking for this and that. And that's um, that's that's that cripples our democracy. I would say. Yeah, and, 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 and well, the, the vote matters more because uh, basically, whoever's in control of uh, it, if if everything went through, whoever's in control of the Department of Justice would be the only people that can bring it up. So whether it's a Republican, uh, you know, Department of Justice or Democratic uh, part, uh, Department of Justice, or depending on those people, you know, it can, it, it's good people on both sides and it's horrible people on both sides. So, um, you know, what I'm saying they got, you know, you, you so it depends on who who's going, you know, who's uh, running the Department of Justice at that particular point. Hopefully, the Supreme Court kind of steps in and like, look, we can't circumvent the actual citizens. And circumventing the actual citizens kind of limits our power on the back end. So um, ho hopefully the Supreme Court kind of, you know, fixes it on the backside. So, you know, sometimes you get some of the crazy lawyers, I mean, crazy judges, and they, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's just like, look, oh my God, y'all fucking nutcase. So, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully, 
is is an off is an off thing, and the Supreme Court kind of reverses it, and you know, and that's something for wishing. And that's the reason you got to vote against Trump. And even though we don't like Biden or didn't like Biden, didn't like Hillary, didn't like nobody, that's the reason you got to do it. Because whoever is in power, they can appoint the Supreme Court judges, which means they can appoint people to to boost their agenda, which means that when these things go to the Supreme Court, if Trump is in charge and he's uh, filled the, uh, the, 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 uh, the judges' chambers, then it's going to go to what he wants. It's going to go to what Republicans want. It's going to go to what people who don't want what you want. That's why you can't go, I ain't voting. Yeah. It's, 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 all about, it's all about the judges. It's, it's all about the judges at this point. These, these both, like, I'm, like, you know, I'm a big, I'm a key component of term limits mm -hmm. and age requirements. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm, I don't feel like Trump or Biden should be able to run. Like, I, I just, no, age, my age, limit is 65 is when you retire. You can no longer run for president past age of 65. Yeah. Period. You know what? I was torn. I was I was like at 65, and then I was like, all right, well, maybe I'll go up to 68. You know what I'm saying? Since, I, since, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't fight you on 68. I rock with that. Yeah, but the only reason the only reason I would say 68 is because more people are working later. So I'm like, look, if you know what I'm saying, I'm like, look, but I'm I'm gonna be honest with you, I was with you at 65 for a long time, so I'm not opposed to that. You know what I'm saying? But I, I think it should be age requirements term requirements um you know what i'm saying like it, it should be a lot of things in place you can't it, it, they shouldn't be able to be career politicians nope. for 30 40 years i'm like it, it, you're not in the world living it like you know what I'm i feel like you could you should be able to pro progress in it so if you're in the house of rep maybe you can you can still do the, the senate senate you can still do be, be president you can kind of do any of those roles but yeah, I don't think you should be able to stay in a role, and that's on both sides. Like I don't care who it is. I agree. Like, I agree. I don't think that Nancy Pelosi should be in there for a, a, a boatload of time, and I don't feel like a, a eighty plus year old, um, you know, a rich guy should be. You know, what I'm saying, you, you know, should be able to be president for you know just because uh, you know who his daddy was. Like I don't, I, 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 I'm on both sides. Like I don't think. Kansas one. <clears throat> yeah. You know, I get a lot of my my shit from my youth. A lot of things, thoughts that. Develop my mind came from me as a child, um, and I and from hip hop, and I don't even feel no shame about that. Like, nah, nigga, like, yeah, I know a lot of my shit from rap music. Yes, I did. Boo, the fuck who? You know, that's that's why I got it. And Karis One told me in in the nineties, we got to let old ideas die with old people. Yeah, and I believe that shit. Um, and once again, <laughs> Bacon Burger Dogs say, I'm tired of old white men having any say so in this country. Me too. I'm tired of We got to let old ideas die with old people. I'm going to say what I'm, the only thing that, <sighs> I mean, I don't think either one of them are going to make it through the next four years. Nope. Like, whichever, nope. If, whichever one I win, I don't think they're going to make it through the, through that term, though. Like they, I, don't want, I, I want both of them to go. I want, I want fresh energy. Some, I just want, I want somebody I just, in their but, 50s. Yeah, I don't even care if they if like you know what I'm saying if it's somebody that been there, like you you just shouldn't be like y'all are too old for that shit though. Like man, like go go be with your family and live and live. Like you can't understand these problems. You know what I'm nope. saying? Like, like I don't feel like you can, you know what I'm saying, identify with the, the majority of America. Right. Like like when it, like my little brother be talking to me about motherfucking NBA young boy, and I'd be like, I don't get it. <laughs> and yeah. I, I ain't that old, dog. I ain't that old. Yeah, so you got to get it. It's like a, it's a balance, but it's like my grace, it's like I, I can't. Like, yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I, I just feel like term limits, age limits should all be on, on for, for both sides should be on there. Like they, they let these people get in there forever and become career. And, and this is for the people I like. So like a mm -hmm. Maxine Woods, who you know, who, who you know, who I hold in high esteem. Same thing. She shouldn't have been, you know, what I'm saying I think she should be gone. Same oh, thing. Seen. But when John Lewis was in there, who is a uh is somebody that I admire. Uh, you know, I I can't admire anymore. You know what I'm saying? For what he sacrificed, what he gave, and and his accomplishments. Still, 20, 30 years. You, you, you know what I'm saying? You 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 pass it on. You know what I'm saying? Like I do appreciate that a lot of his mentors are, are people that's running uh, and getting in there now. So you know, to show that yeah, he, yeah, not, mentees, mentees. Yeah, I'm sorry, mentees are kind of getting in there and you know what I'm saying and 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 following his direction. So it showed that he was doing what he's supposed to do while he was in there. Same thing with Maxine, but. Look, you shouldn't be able to be in there, man. Like, look, 20, 30 years, man. 
something else, man. Go live your life. Go, go, no go bullshit. No yeah. bullshit. Bro, listen, Ms. Ms. McConnell can barely talk. She the right proper structure makes them feel like they need to be in charge. That's their desperation to to remain, to, to have a hold on the game. They're desperate. That's what they're doing. I've seen Waters and I don't know, no, Holmes Norton, DC zone, need to be gone. I agree. Get rid of all of them old fossils. Denise said, get rid of all the old fossils. I hey, agree, man. I think that. Miss McConnell, I feel I can't stand this. I think he's worse than, than Trump and all that uh, and the other ones because he's actually intelligent. He was intelligent enough to kind of get stuff passed that can really mm -hmm. be Trump talk about a lot of BS. You know what I'm saying? He, do a, uh, he did a lot of negative stuff, but. McConnell, because he's in there so much, he knows the inner workings and how to BS and do a whole bunch of stuff that he ain't supposed to, you know what I'm saying, that, that, that he can really get away. But he, he damn near had a stroke. Yeah, he don't know shit no more. He seen him on the stage, hold on to the podium, couldn't talk, and then like two weeks later, he was fine. I'm like, they cloned his ass. Y'all want to say they cloned Jeezy, the Gucci? Y'all want to talk about that? They cloned Gucci, man? They cloned Miss McConnell then, nigga. So that, that was... <laughs> Because I don't see how they, they wasn't able to make sure he's getting them out of there. Like, I'm like, hold up. You're not fit, you're not physically fit to do that. No bullshit. You represent no thousands, bullshit. you know what I'm saying, hundreds of thousands of people, and you know what I'm saying, that's what you're doing. Millions. Millions of people. Yeah, well, I'm just talking about his his constituents and his state, but yeah, because yeah, of yeah. His role, because of his role is is mm -hmm. millions. He's so you know he's a, he's a majority leader, so he controls so much. No See? bullshit. Yeah, and fuck them all. Hopefully, we we'll, we'll <laughs> let old ideas that with old people we're bringing the new generation. I would rather face the new. You know, people say, "Well, at least I know they're racist." I, I don't give a fuck about that part. They told me they was racist. Man, shut the fuck up. I don't care. I would rather face the the younger generation than to face somebody who told me they was racist. 20 years ago. Let's get the youth in. At least they have progressive ideas. And I don't care if you're racist. I used to tell racist Rick all the time, do you have what's best for the country in mind? And if you do, then you know oppressing black people ain't what's best for the country. So you could be racist like Lyndon B. Johnson. He ain't racist than a motherfucker. But he knew we had to uh, push the agenda forward. And, um, Vivek, yeah, yeah, Vivek is young. I mean, <laughs> crazy too, though. But, but you know, look, look, I, look. It is what it is. I, look, at, at least he he's arguing his 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 age. <laughs> <laughs> right. He ain't gonna he ain't gonna forget this shit from dementia. He ain't yeah. gonna forget it. Yeah. Hey, right. yeah. <laughs> Let's get back and do some fun shit, y'all. I appreciate that my brothers is on here talking politics with us, Zaylu. I appreciate y'all. <laughs> Salute to black men. Out here talking, let me give you one more comment. All of them are out of style. The youth really don't care about Democrats or Republicans. I talk to them. There it is. There it is. But let's get into something fun, because we're not going to get all serious. And, and my Cowboys about to beat the Eagles as soon as we cut this shit on. So we're not going to get too serious. We're going to have some fun. Let's get into a fun topic that I think, you know what? I'm going to play this. How long is this shit? I want the ladies to listen, but man, oh, there's no... Minute. Minute. You about it's to two minutes. It's two minutes. I'm gonna play a little bit of it, um, and then we'll we'll get into uh, our this or that. Come on, this, or you can get with this, so you can get with that. I think you get with this. And you're expendable. She could take you or leave you. A nine. That's a problem too, because you got enough people telling her she's a ten, so half of them acting that way. And by the way, the ones that ain't acting that way still require more from you than what others might. And so you got to be up on your game. The my tens, nines, That's problematic. Eights and sevens of women. Eight. Are they that's ideal. Because that's really, really good looking. She got it going on. But at the same time, there's a level of independence. That comes with it, which is never a bad thing until she's so independent that she's making you feel like you need to be more dependent on her than she needs to be on you. 
So there's too many opportunities and too much time that's wasting away where you're not feeling like that dude. You're feeling like a dude, not that dude. Here's where the strong seven comes in. Looks why she can compete with an eight. But her mentality is not that of an eight. So she's more appreciative of you wanting her. As a result. Oh, then that was my uh, my alarm. Just Elevated. Uh, that was my alarm to take my blood pressure medicine and to call my God kids. So we're we going to wrap this up soon, but we're going we gonna to handle this topic, though. <laughs> hey, Lou, before I dive into this, what are your thoughts on what Stephen A. said? I normally don't get into those type of conversations just because, you know what I'm saying, it's, it's so... Everybody, everybody's scale is drastically different in what you judge it from a physical standpoint, mental standpoint, value standpoint. Um, so it's just, you know, it's, it's just different. You know, so I think all of them, you know, everybody had their own little rating skill and you rating different things in them. And then you get like a cumulative, uh, you know what I'm saying, score. Um, so, you know, I don't know. I, I ain't really got too much to say. I'll let you go, go with it. I, I will say this. My, my stance was there's no such thing as a 10. Like, I'll never meet a 10. You know, well, as a regular human being, I, I, you know, in the industry, sure, there's a Beyonce, there's a Rihanna, you know, there's this and that, you know, but that's the industry. As a regular everyday person, there are no 10s that, that we're going to come across. The highest we're going to come across is a nine. And a nine in a world where 10s don't exist, become a 10. <laughs> nines are, for the most part, uh, untouchable, untenable, um, the kind of woman that the average man doesn't even stand a chance with. And I go with nines. I go with ten, I, I would go with, I go with tens on the internet. I go with Santi every day. I go at them. Like, I, I, I don't have a fear. I'm not one of them niggas. I, 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 when I see a crew of girls, I go with the prettiest one. I'm, I'm that dude. I go with the baddest one in the crew. Now, I don't always get the baddest one in the crew. <laughs> But I always go at the baddest one in the crew. Um, uh, eight, I think, is perfection, damn near. Because eight is perfection for somebody who ain't rich. You know what I'm saying? For somebody who isn't in a Hollywood lifestyle. Eight, to me, is the perfection you can receive um, in the real world. And I think a lot of eights are more down to earth and more willing to date quote unquote regular to slightly superlative men. You know what I'm saying? Um and at eight, you know, they know they're not a nine, they know they're not a ten, but they know they are eight. So I think an eight is like that's the fantasy. That's the dream. That's the dream. Living the dream. <laughs> um a seven is a little more humble you know, slightly different background. And I, I, I can be viewed as a seven. So now we're talking to a woman who isn't sure she's above me. You know, as far as the scale on which um, Americans and or humans in 2023 place value. An uh, eight could think I'm still an eight in, in your little podcast is cute. A seven gonna be like, this nigga killing it. And his podcast job fire. <laughs> so she gonna view me a little bit differently. You know, she's she'll probably more likely to view me the way I view myself. So I, I find truth in what Stephen A said. It's not an absolute. Because we know sixes, we, we know fours that think they tens. And they act like they are fucking ten. And bitch, you a four. You know, shut the fuck up. And, and then we know, you know, sevens or eights who are so hum eights or nines who are so humble that you know, you see them with the ugly dude, like how how he get her? He was a nice person. She values niceness, she values character. Even though she looks that way, she values 
people that are genuinely kind. So they're always, you know, it's never a one size fits all. But we know our stereotypes. And we know for the sake of the game and the sake of the conversation and have some fun with this topic, we know our stereotypes on every number. Um, that's where I check out J. Lou. That I, I go by the stereotype. I go okay. by what's mostly typical, but it's nuanced. Yeah, I'm like, man. To, to me, it's like, man, be 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 the number you want to be. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, in in, in different in, in every aspect of your life. So physically, like, look, you, you everybody look how they look, but if you you can be in the best shape that you can be in, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Character wise, you know what I'm saying? Like, like it's, it's some line cheating, no good motherfuckers. Be opposite. You know what I'm saying? Like, like, like you know what I'm saying? Like, like you can you can change your number. <laughs> In life, especially as you get older, you learn the value. You know what I'm saying? The value certain things, and then you're like, hey, damn, and she, and she look good, or and he look good." Because you're saying this, because there's a lot of bum niggas out here too that think, you know. So it's the same. It's, it's the same way from from a male. You know what I'm saying? Like that, that you gotta talk yourself up to do it and all that stuff. So it's you know, it's, it's a whole bunch of motherfuckers that you know, and they call in they sales numbers that they really ain't <laughs> faking until they make it. Hey man, look what say, Brittany. <laughs> hey, Brittany. Um, that Brittany's up, 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 up on that level. That Brittany is a dime. Brittany, bad as shit. Um, all I can say is that's the homie, and she does the podcast and she shows love. And um, when we went on our, our date, if I had known it was a date date, she might not be on the podcast. She might. I might have proposed. She might have a ring. She might be the girl in the background, like, no, are you still doing the pot? <laughs> yes, Brittany, I'm still <laughs> doing the pot. Can you go cook dinner? But um, yeah, Brittany bad as shit. Shout out to Brit. I saw on a I don't know if it was a private jet. She was on a a small plane with hey, the PJ kind of looked like a PJ. I don't know if it was a PJ, but it, she was on a small personalized size plane. Her and her girls. And I was like, man, me and Jay Lou need to, need to go holler at Britain and her girls because what the fuck they doing? Like, what the man. fuck is they doing? Man. I'm going to send Britain to this clip. She be like, new, I can't stand you. Get on my fucking nerves. <laughs> I'm definitely going to chop this up and send it to her like, Brit, <laughs> photograph. Was at that. That's the movie we went to. That's a wrong man in comedy. Uh, but anyway, oh, uh, y'all see you, Burger. Bomb. That's what we got. Have we got to have Brittany come up here and tell us the truth? She gonna tell us you bomb. That's what it is. Yeah, we had a conversation. I want to meet you or her. Yeah, I don't, y'all ain't go into it though. But yeah, uh, I, think, I, think bomb. I think you bomb. And Brittany, she you, know, damn, you, you was a you nice know. guy. You was a nice guy. So she like, oh, let me make this nigga my friend. <laughs> you ain't got no faith for your boy. Come on, dog. Nah. You know <laughs> Big Burger raised me. Nah, we from the same hood. We raised by the same hood, dog. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Right. All right. I digress. You right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna show her this clip too. She can be like, "You right, J. Lou. She better not see that. You better not see that. Like this nigga." Uh, you probably this nigga probably went in there, ain't open the doors and nothing. Oh no, I opened all the doors. Oh, she, you, did all- you, you, you know, you know what let me know open the date and when, when I was like, I ain't fucking with her. She offered, she was like, How much do I owe you? I was like, Oh nah. Oh, okay. so you so you thought, oh, so this was some homie. Nah, ah, that's a, that's a keeper. Nah, she ain't expect you to do it. She just, you know, she just making an offer. If you did, if you just said it, y'all wouldn't even be friends. Uh, yeah. But when, when, whenever a woman, I just looked at that like, who the fuck you think I am? <laughs> I, I, you know, I took offense to that and I was like, I'm dumb as short. She ain't fucking with me. But she might have been just trying to tell me I'm an independent black woman. And I just read it wrong. I, I heard that. They, I was they, like, they, they, they offer, they don't expect they just you. offer me some shit. Yeah, yeah, I'm, out, I'm, out, I'm out. I'm out. Offer, but they don't expect you to take it. But you know what I'm saying? As men, you, you, know, you know, you appreciate the offer. Yeah, but see, and I'm 15, 16 years older, so I heard that, and I just immediately got turned off, like, who the fuck you think I am? It was a, uh, that's the little, that's the little test. Remember the old school test when you, you open the door, see if they open the door on the other side, little stuff like yeah, that. So yeah. her, her, she, she was trying to pass the test. So, so now, you probably did good at the, 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 uh, the date, but you probably bombed the follow-ups and shit. 
Yeah, I, I, I think I bombed that part because my old school <laughs> nature was like, did she just try to offer the pay? It's a rap. Play me like I'm little. <laughs> yeah, it's a rap. <laughs> and that's how I took it. Oh, Burger said it was a test. So apparently, yeah. see, see, that, that come from me and you know, I failed the young girl test. That's how I know. She ain't gonna marry that dude. We'll figure it out. <laughs> nah, that nigga got on the plane. They is over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, that's yeah. all right. That's all right, though. That's, that, so that's my one. friend. That's my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me put on my glasses. I can't even see what the hell next uh, was coming up next. Um. Oh. Oh yeah. We gotta get up out of here because I gotta watch these cowboys. But we do gotta talk about this. Netflix and chill. What does that even mean? Black cake. It's not on Netflix. It's on Hulu. It is a eight part series. Um, I believe it's coming back for I just bought the book on Audible because I'm curious to see what the rest of the story, how the story really ends. It's about a black family. Well, let me be clear. They're in Jamaica. It is a Chinese father and a black mother who have a child. So she's half black, half Chinese. And it's about her life. In Jamaica and outside of Jamaica, it is mystery, it is intrigue, it is death, it is murder, it is suspense, it's eight part series, and it's this basic story is her telling her children about her life. And I'm not gonna say anything else because I would ruin it, but I will tell you this it's on Hulu, every episode is out. I believe there is a season two coming. I'm not sure. But if it's not, you need to watch this anyway. This is one of the best. If it's a miniseries, I guess it's a miniseries. Whatever it is, it's one of the best ones that came out this year. You need to watch it. All you kickbackers, I'm not bullshitting you. It's on Hulu and you need to fucking watch it. Everybody I told to watch it, watched it. And the only complaint I got was, God damn it, New, you got me. I'm all my feelings is involved in this show. And now I'm emotional. Cause I don't know what happened on this part. And I gotta watch the next episode to see what happened. It's one of them shows that suck you in. Pause. It's like a this is us almost. Okay. You wanna you, you wanna feel the feelings? You wanna root for somebody? You wanna be scared for somebody? You wanna be totally invested in the show like you know them people? No, no, don't, don't. Come on, Kim. Like, this the one. This the one. And perfect. And if you haven't seen it, it's perfect for the holidays. It's only eight episodes. You can watch that shit in two days. Yeah, really, one day. Take off work, cut that shit on about 10 in the morning. By about six, seven at night, you done. You said it's on Hulu. I'm trying to figure out. It's on Hulu. I don't, I don't huh? think. You ain't got Hulu? I don't know. I'm I, no, I think I still got Hulu. I, I know I canceled. I canceled. I canceled some stuff. Yeah, I canceled some shit too. I got Hulu through my cell phone service, but I'm like, we got a bother. If I got Hulu, what you got? Because uh, Dana last week was like, I ain't got Hulu. I was like, what you got? She's like, I got Amazon. I got that already. You got to come with something else. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You on my Amazon, right? No, I got my own Amazon because I be doing, I be, I be ordering the Prime shit. Oh, oh. well, uh, you know, uh, buying stuff. So I hey, come on my job. Oh, but I was, I yeah. was on your Hulu, um, one NBA season. Now you're on the Prime. I thought. Nah, my yeah, yeah, yeah. I, my bad. Because Hulu don't do NBA. Yeah, yeah, I was on your Prime. During the NBA season, one of them seasons, we was watching all the games. The Wizards. Yeah, yeah, they got now, it. yeah, I had to get my own because, like, the microphone I'm using now came from Prime. Okay, so uh, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I, I, I had, I, I reluctantly had to go with Prime because I was buying so much shit. My yeah. bed came from Prime. That shit, you, know you got everything yeah. situated with that. Yeah, okay, the zone is up and running, and I'm not going. I'm not even gonna say it because my wife might be watching, my future wife might be watching. But I put everything together and it's it stood the test of time. 
<laughs> hey man, look. Hey, no, that's all right then, man. Look, that's all. That's hey, as long as it's still the test, man. You good? Hey, hey, yeah. That, that don't that don't look right. <laughs> <laughs> Now, 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 I am single. Nobody, nobody want me, so I don't want to hear shit. Nobody say shit. You wanted me, you wanted me to be monogamous. Should have said something. I don't want to hear shit from y'all. Um, but uh, yeah, so I did get all that shit straight. Um, what I need now is showtime. I'm gonna watch the shot. So I, I'm willing to trade anything for showtime. You <laughs> reach out to everybody for showtime. Yeah, whoever got Showtime, I got some app you want. I got about four apps. So one of my four, you might not have. I'm, 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 I'm winning the trade for Showtime. I need Showtime. Because I got Paramount Plus, but I don't have the version that includes Showtime. So I'm, I'm, I'm looking to trade. I'm, look, I'm looking to barter. I need Showtime so I can watch um, uh, The Shot. Music wise, you know what? I'm gonna play the intro anyway. We ain't got a whole lot to see on music, but I'm 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 gonna do it just so we can uh play it because it's one of my favorite commercials from the '80s, and this reminds me of when I was a little kid. Just be SGTT you die. Hey, hey, Burger, you know I'm talking back. Supreme girl take his SGTs. He was doing that. Man, Burger, I might get married. Damn, bro. And your big brother like nigga, you ain't getting married. Like damn. Cause he won't be better than everybody, so if you say it, it's probably true, man. This is a fantastic album, man. Let me borrow it. No, my brother, you got to buy your own. No, my <laughs> brother, you got to buy your own. I listened to a little bit of Nicki today. Um, okay. I'm not a big female rap fan, but I do appreciate female rappers, and I, I am a fan of a lot of them. Um, I am of the mindset that Nicki Minaj is the greatest female rapper of all time and the best female rapper of all time. And I'll tell you the distinction. The greatest is the most celebrated. The best is skill-wise. I think she might be both. But I'm just, I ain't really walking around lip, bumping. I, I ain't bumping Nicki Minaj in my new Lexus, J. Lou, when I get it. I'm, I, I don't see that happening. But I can still respect it. I can still appreciate it. Yeah. And so far from what I've heard of her album, I respect it and I appreciate it. I think she's still number one. Her, her sales this week pro prove that. Oh, she I think her career proves that. So uh, Nikki number one, but I'm just, I'm just not listening to that shit. I'm just going to be honest. I'm, I'm not listening to that shit. I'm not listening. I don't hear it. Yeah. It's good. But I, 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 I don't yeah. hear that shit. If it's not, if it's not relatable, it's not relatable to you. I don't. I think I, I'm, I might have heard one song when I was listening to the radio. But yeah, I don't. I don't think I. Uh, yeah, like I'm. I don't really listen to it. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah, you're not. You're not catching no breaks, riding around bumping Nicki. But I respect it and I appreciate it. But no, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna be riding in my new whip. I think, I think I with her and J. Cole that was solid. That, that's why I, I listened to it. I like that joke. I like that joke. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think they said she got one on it with 50. I, I probably would listen to that joke. So I buy it. The, the 50 joke ain't out. It's, they, it's on my, I guess that's on the deluxe or something. Oh, okay, okay. So I don't know what the fuck. But 50 did some bullshit on Nas album. He had oh, a 16 bar verse. He rapped eight bars and then talked the rest. It was like, why ain't you just do a whole verse? Oh, like, he did. kind of weirdo shit you was on, Fifth. Too busy worried about Diddy and ain't even do a whole verse. Man. Hey, look, he trying, Fifth trying to bad revolt. He said, fuck <laughs> yeah, yeah, real, We got real problems we're dealing with right now, man. Ain't nobody got time. Yeah, everybody got no verses. He's, <laughs> he's, he's 16 bars y'all want. I, I, I did this for the love. <laughs> right, right, right. As we hear about it here. That's that Chicago Bulls music, nigga. That's sports. 
What you got? Um, when and by? I got I got the final school. Well, I'll put it on Twitter on Twitter. Let me let me let me look at the final school that I posted. I said it was going to be uh, and this is live prediction because I said it on Facebook and shit. Um, hold on, one of my glasses. You know I can't see shit. Hey, to put the glasses back on if you're not watching on YouTube. Um I said that the score would be 45 to 33 Cowboys. God damn. New Thomas. That high school of a game? Yeah, because I mean, like, Cowboys dropping 40, and the Eagles ain't gonna and the Eagles ain't no punk. Yeah, they so they, they can at least drop 30. Yeah, they about to beat the shit out of tonight, though. So you be careful over there. Is that um, what you think? That's how you feel? Real shit, though. If them niggas, if, if when they start, when they finish hitting them niggas, if they some, if they come knocking on, you're doing shit, hit me up. You know what I'm i bring my strap over there. You know, <laughs> you know make sure you know how. Hey, uh, you okay. got to relax. You got to relax. 45-33. Um, I think it's going to be 38-33 to 33 in the fourth quarter. Jalen Hurst is going to drive and look like he's going to bring him back and take the lead. And Deron Bland, after getting abused most of the game, is going to get a pick six, run it in with like a minute and a half left, and that's just the fucking game. And 45 to 33. Because well, that is the MVP of the league right now. The Cowboys' offense is the most potent offense in the league. Even though we missing um, Trayvon Diggs, Deron Bland broke the pick six record. Stephon Gilmore is still an MVP. He, he won defensive player of the year at, at cornerback. He's still there. Um, our linebacking core is straight. They picked up the dude we wanted, but their secondary is so suspect. Yeah, they are. And that that is averaging like 38 points against Philly over the last like four years. Like, we're not worried about Philly. Philly has <laughs> never been a thorn in our side. Like, if we could only beat Philly, we beat them. Dak yeah. is eight and two yeah. against Philly. We don't give a fuck about oh. Philly. We're about to go nuts for you on y'all tonight. I mean, he about to go off on y'all tonight. I mean, who, who, who? DeAndre Swift. He about to go off. He gonna go no, off. On y'all. We we got big bodies up there. He ain't running on us. We got big bodies. We got big bodies. I'm trying to help you out. You know what I'm saying? Look, I'm doing this shit out of love, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I'm just you know what I'm saying. This is all out of love. I'm telling you. To be careful, cool. about you. But Ber- Berger said, "I'm full of shit." Oh uh, damn, Berger! So you think Philly gonna beat us? Yeah. Nah, man. Berger, you know, you know, I know sports. But Ber- Ber- if anybody know, you know, you know how I knew the stats of every player in 1991, and I could go back to 1973, back when we was in junior high school, high school. I know it. I'm telling you. 38-27, something like that. You got with the Eagles winning? Yeah, the Eagles gonna beat the shit out of y'all tonight. Yeah, they're gonna beat the shit out of y'all. Well, we're not the Steelers. They'll they be losing a sub 500 teams back to back weeks. Oh, I, I That's actually, not us. That's not us. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I agree with that. Y'all do y'all do beat sub 500 teams. It's the other ones that y'all got problems with. <laughs> Until now. Until now, <laughs> they can kick off about to happen. Hey, hey, y'all, come back and holler. Hey, everybody, check on new about two hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we, we stopping the podcast. Kick off about to happen. And if the Cowboys don't do what I say, y'all could tear me up tomorrow in the comments at No Breaks New on Instagram, at No Breaks New on Twitter. Now yeah. Tariq Newman on Facebook. But don't, but don't do that soft ass shit either. Like when y'all get your ass whooped, like, oh, I knew we we we, we gonna mess up. We messed up. Don't because you know how niggas when you get your ass whooped, I don't you, do that. You, try, I don't do that. you try to put you try to put it out there to the world so they can't come at you. Nah, you sit there and you no, take I'm, that I'm, shit. I'm not gonna do the Eminem where I, where, I, where, I, where I sit on us so you can't sit on us. <laughs> I'm not gonna do an Eminem. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh well, I put it this way. I have nothing to lose. Either the Cowboys step up and beat the shit out the Eagles, or we just some trash. Y'all and it's going to be another season. Nah, y'all ain't no trash. All my eggs are in this basket on this game. 
all my eggs. Because we got Miami next, Buffalo, then Detroit, and then the sorry ass commanders. So we need this game. Miami, Miami's gonna be tough just because offensively, but you know what I'm saying? But y'all defense can really get after them. Uh, but yeah, I, the other Detroit look horrible. They 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 look bad against Chicago. They look bad today, but they they, they was Buffalo, nine, Buffalo, it was nine to three until today. Buffalo Buffalo just got Buffalo got lucky today against Kansas City. Like they they called a BS called on Kansas City to gave them the win. So yeah, and you know what I'm saying? Look, y'all gonna be y'all be all right regardless. But, but Kansas City look suspect as a, as a motherfucking anyway. They ain't got no receivers. Nah, yeah, you're right. <laughs> You're right about that. This suspect in the motherfucker. But I think that um I'm putting all my eggs in this basket. Like, I'm gonna talk all my shit this game because if we win, I'm right. And if we lose, our season's over. Oh, so I, this is it. Over. Oh my god, over. This is it. If we lose, because I mean, we'll, we'll make the playoffs and we'll we'll uh what do you call it? Um <laughs> we'll we'll win the first round game, but if, if the Eagles beat our ass and the 49ers beat our ass, I don't handle Super Bowl hopes no more. Uh, we, we gotta show we can play against the big dogs. Yeah, it's looking, all about this game. Y'all looking good right now. I ain't even seeing shit. Matter of fact, hey, hey kickback is lucky to death, but fuck y'all. Cowboys playing, getting the fuck up out of here. Thank you for tuning in. I appreciate you every week. Um, uh, I'm giving you never, next week. We are doing the tribute episode to JB Frank, my bro, um, my best friend. I said it at his funeral, my soulmate. And I was like, yeah, niggas got soulmates too, nigga. Like, you can have a friendship soulmate. That was just my man from when we was fucking little kids. And I've been talking to his family every day. And just sharing stories, and they're like, "Damn it!" It's almost like they shocked at forty-seven. I got stories from when we was twelve. Yeah, like I got eleven. Yeah, I got a Rolodex. I'm not running out of stories. <laughs> this was my road dog for thirty-six fucking years. And um, man, so we're gonna do the tribute episode next week. His uh, memorial is Atlanta celebration. Will be next Saturday. And then I'm gonna have F, Mill, and Lex, Jeremy, everybody come back here next Sunday, and uh, we're gonna do the official tribute episode. Um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like I've been good. I have not been good. You know what I'm saying? But I'm gonna keep it moving, no breaks, because that's what my big brother want. You know what I'm saying? And as we get up out of here, J. Lou, I appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? I always say you're my favorite guest, Nick. You're my favorite guest host. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know that already. Now, some of my guest hosts are prettier than you, <laughs> but you my favorite guest uh, host. I don't be prettier than me. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I'll tell you what, as we get out of here, I'm going to let my bro JB do the, do the intro, but it's going to be the outro. JB, I love you. I miss you. It don't be a fucking day to go by. I don't think about you and just see him be like, that's some bullshit. I do that two, three, four, five times a day. I be in the middle of my day. Bullshit. That's some bullshit. That's some bullshit. I love you, dog. And your kid's good with me. I text him every night. We do high low every night, nigga. With some kids, nigga. I know the promises I made to you, and I'm going to keep them. I love you. No breaks, and I'm going to let JB take us up out of here. Kick back, guys! JB, what's the name of the podcast? It's a pod named Kickback. A pod named Kickback. It's like a tribe called Quest. You You say say the whole thing. thing.